do, 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 do. How do I want to start this video? Um, hmm. Okay, so I've gotten a lot of uh, comments over in my last video. Sorry, Bailey, my dog had to make his little entrance with his, uh, his shaking. In fact, here you go. Oh, this is Bailey. Say hello to YouTube Bailey. He's a little scared. He doesn't like to be in front of the camera. He's like, what are you doing? Okay, so uh, I got a lot of comments in my last video, or I've gotten comments over the in the past too about this. People have been asking me what type of brushes I use in both uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. And so I wanted to make this quick video just to dive in and talk a little bit about that. I'm going to be switching over to uh, my screen now and I'm going to talk through the different types of brushes that I use, um, why I use them, and where did I get them from. And then in a later video, I'm gonna talk about how I manipulate them, specifically in Illustrator, to um, make them a little bit of my own in a way. I don't know, I'll explain that later in a future video. But for now, I'm gonna switch over to my, my screen and I'm gonna show you the brushes that I use in both Photoshop and Illustrator. All right, everybody, so now we're on my Wacom Cintiq 13 HD, and we're in Photoshop. So the first thing I want to start off is Photoshop, I use that primarily as a sketching tool. And so I'm not going to go too far into all of the different brushes that uh, I have because I don't really use them as much as I use this specific brush right here. So this pencil brush, let's see, I think think let's see what it's called let me see if I can find the name of it I think this is like the perfect pencil one I think I'm not quite sure I'll have to I'll, I'll, I'll have to see I don't know but this is the the main brush that I use in Photoshop I always hate when Photoshop crashes and I have to go in and I have to actually <laughs> look through my entire library just to find this brush, but this is by far my favorite uh, brush to use for sketching. But this amazing brush is was created by Kyle Webster, or excuse me, Kyle T. Webster. All right, so to find this amazing brush and all of the other ones from Kyle Webster, you can head over to gumroad.com forward slash Kyle T. Webster. And it's literally the first product that he has here the Kyle's ultimate mega pack for Photoshop CS5 and up over 200 amazing natural media tools including pencils inks oils gouaches rough brushes pastels FX and more and trust me there are a lot of brushes here now deep in this this whole mess of brushes you can find my specific brush that I use this one right here the pencil brush but I also want to want to make a quick note I know this is going a little off uh, off the rails but I got a comment the other day and the person asked how in the world do I get this great pencil effect here because normally you can't really get this effect just from a brush I think that these brushes actually come preloaded with this effect but for the people who might not have the uh, the money to buy this brush pack let me quick show you the settings that I use. So I'm just going to use a regular uh, circle brush. And then I'm going to go up here. See where it says opacity and you have flow. So I'm going to change my flow to 15. And then I'm going to click, make sure that this icon right here, the circle to pencil is, uh, is clicked. I can't remember what it's called. Let's see. Always use pressure. Let's see if it'll pop up again. It said, always use pressure uh, and opacity. So, sorry for that pop-up. So, what I what that does is it creates a brush that is similar to a way of a pencil. Very super, super simple, simple brush, but it gets the job done. I still will always prefer let me do my, for some reason my Wacom's not working so I can't undo these. So I have to go through and do it the old fashioned way. Sorry for this. All right, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so I just will always prefer 
to use this specific brush because look at how clean and sharp this is as opposed to using that brush. But it's super easy to, to do. If for some reason you, uh, you have another brush you want to use for pencil and you still want that effect, you just go up here, make sure this icon's clicked and make sure the flow's at 15 and there you go, that's all you need. But once again, you can find the, this amazing brush and tons more at Kyle's website. You just go to gumroad.com forward slash Kyle T. Webster. And by the way, he is not paying me for this. He's not giving me any freebies for this. I just love his Photoshop brushes. So definitely go check him out. Now we're going to flip over to Illustrator. Now Illustrator, I use a different, different types of brushes. Um, for all my Illustrator needs, all my vector brush needs, I head over to Retro Supply Company. Uh, my good friend Dustin Lee, he, own, he owns Retro Supply. He creates these amazing brushes. If you haven't checked him out before, check him out. He also has a podcast uh, called Passive Income. And I'll make sure to include links to all the stuff in the show notes below. So don't worry if you guys didn't catch any of that. I know I talk super fast. Believe it or not, this is like my fifth time going through this because I wanted to nail it just right for you guys. All right, so with uh, Illustrator, it's different. You know, instead of it being raster, uh, raster strokes or raster brushes and everything like that, you actually have these awesome vector lines here. Really awesome. I love using uh, vectors over Photoshop because I can go through and I can edit my strokes so much better than a raster brush. And a ra with raster, you know, you don't have anchors, you don't have anything like that. I just love creating everything in Illustrator. So much easier. But the cool thing is, is that with uh, retro supply brushes, and I've, I've tried other brushes before, is that you can't, or let me say this, you can use width profiles. Now, I'm not going to go into it. I'm just going to show you a, a little bit of my width previews that I use. I only use a few of these, but these are some of them. I'm going to do a YouTube video in the future where I go more into depth into this. So don't worry. I'm going to go more in depth on it. But for today, I'm just going to show you just like, you know, how great it is to use his uh, these like awesome vector brushes. All of these, uh, whoops, did not mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> all of these, these illustrations here were done using basically like, I think one or two amazing brushes from Dustin Lee's packs. So I'm gonna quick head over, head over here just to check out, check out his site. Um, this is the, the biggest bang for your buck right here. The Vector Brush Toolbox. Sorry for the phone, phone beeps. My uh, friend, Mackenzie Child, you probably have seen his videos before. He's messaging me right now on Twitter and my phone's going going off. So let me put that on silent. There we go. Um, but back to this. So this is Dustin's, or excuse me, let's say Retro Supplies main brush kit right here. This thing has six different packs all tied into one. Now, I can't, I can't really uh, express to you enough how big of a deal this is. When I first found found out that he had this, I was like, "Yes, this is all I need to all I need to buy. I don't have to go through and buy all the different packs and try them out. I get them all rolled into one." Now I'm just going to call out one specific uh, pack here, just in case you can't buy this big pack. Go after this one right here, the Vector Hero Pack. You can find this just by clicking here, the Retro Product Catalog. You can find it in there. It's still out there today. This pack is by far my favorite. Super clean lines. I would say it's like kind of like comic book quality in a way. You know those old Micron pens? This is what this is what these things feel like. That's what all of my Stranger Things pieces, the Donald Trump piece, all of my uh, line work illustrations, all of these use the Vector Hero brushes. Or I should say two of the Vector Hero brushes. But... All in all, you want to go after this main pack. Now, Dustin did give me a little gift uh, for this video. 
he gave me a promo code that all you guys can use to get this pack for $10 off. Just use the promo code ROCKY10 and you'll get $10 off the purchase of this toolbox. I'll have a, I'll have a link down below, just like I promised. I'll have the promo code in there as well so you don't have to like rewind and pause and everything like that. But definitely go and check these out. You won't be disappointed. Now, I'm going to go back to Photoshop just to close this out. And I'm just going to say this, that I've bought so many brushes over the years. I've tried to make my own brushes. And let me tell you this, I, I, spent, I probably spent a good couple of days in total trying to make my own Photoshop and Illustrator brushes. And the conclusion I've come to is leave it to the professionals. And trust me when I say Kyle T. Webster and Retro Supply, they are the professionals when it comes to brushes. So, you know, you don't have to go and purchase um, purchase like $100 worth of vector or uh, raster brushes for Photoshop and Illustrator. These guys have, oh, excuse me, these guys, these guys have some great deals on their brushes and Retro Supply especially, they're always coming out with uh, with more and more um, brush packs and they're giving giving them away with special offers and everything like that. You can head over to their website, sign up for their newsletter. Dustin is always sending out such great deals. I'm always sharing with my friends, be like, hey, you guys want to definitely check these out. They're offering these brushes for $10 off, $15 off, things like that. It's always, always a great deal. But... Like I said, I hope that these uh, that all of this stuff really helped out. I hope that you're able to um, get some of the information you've been wanting on brushes. And I hope that you'll like and like this video. Comment below with any suggestions for future videos. Or just to let me know if there is something you that I missed that you would like to hear. And as always, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss you won't want to miss out on all the great content I'm coming out. I also am just now starting a vlog separate from this, but in the same channel where I think that you guys might get a kick out of seeing me do some crazy funny stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it really helped you out and I hope that you guys continue to, to watch these. I hope you create something great. All right. Bye.